the ground. Within just a matter of days, it sprouts and begins to grow beautifully. Have you ever wondered what kind of force or intelligence makes the seed grow or even sprouts from the soil in the first place? I've seen plants grow. Have you ever picked a fruit from a mango tree before? Have you ever picked a tomato fruit before? Have you ever picked any fruit or harvested any crop before? Have you taken your time to ask yourself these basic questions? What kind of intelligence do plants have? How are they able to calculate the amount of water they need? The amount of air, carbon gas they need? How are they able to combine carbon gas, water and the nutrients from the soil to produce the tissues that form the roots? the stems, the branches, the leaves, the flowers, and even bear the fruits. In the bearing of the fruits, how are plants able to calculate the amounts of water and other nutrients that they combine to form the fruit that we enjoy so much? What kind of intelligence is behind all these? I tried to understand the basic processes of life in human beings and animals. I understand certain processes such as respiration, perspiration, excretion, circulation and the rest. Do you know that just a hitch in the circulation system would be fatal to your health? Yet our bodies unconsciously without any contribution of ours are able to calculate the amount of oxygen that our bodies need. There is a system in a human being or an, an animal that is able to calculate the amount of water that the body needs in order to sustain itself. There is a system in every human being that is able to automatically detect waste and rate of it from our systems. Have you ever thought of the intelligence behind all these things? Sometimes, when we think of that of plants and animals, we ascribe the glory to Mother Nature. We think that Mother Nature is behind all these things. But have you thought of it? If it is Mother Nature that is really behind all these things, then Mother Nature should be very intelligent. What, is, what about plants and what about animals and human beings? We believe that our minds are capable of calculating and doing all these. What kind of intelligence do our minds have? When a baby is born, how is a baby system, especially with a mind that doesn't know anything in this world, able to do all these complicated calculations? Think about it. Mother Nature is intelligent. But where from all this intelligence that Mother Nature has? In human beings, scientists have made us understood that we have a subconscious mind. And our subconscious mind is responsible for all these complicated calculations. In animals, we may think that they also have a mind that does all these calculations. But what about plants? Do you think plants have minds? Well, let me introduce you to an infinite intelligence that I believe is responsible for all these complicated calculations. Plants that are able to detect when their stems are strong enough, when their branches are strong enough to even hold the number of fruits that they are going to bear, the load or the weight of the fruits they are going to bear before they bear fruits. Don't do all these things simply because Mother Nature is intelligent. All these complicated life processes happen because there is an infinite intelligence that is operating behind the scene. This infinite intelligence, you may call it with a different name. I call it God. I believe that God 
is responsible and is behind all the life processes all the complicated processes especially those ones that we don't normally think of those ones that we are unconscious of their happenings like those complicated processes that even a hitch in the process would result fatally for our health or our lives god is behind all these things and god is this infinite intelligence god is the universal mind the infinite intelligence that is behind all these processes and i would like to tell you something god gave us this subconscious mind and the forces in nature especially in plants that are able to connect with this infinite intelligence and benefit from its power human beings do have a will and out of our will we can decide to also tap into this infinite power or leave it and live our lives without tapping or benefiting from this power the truth is whether we decide to benefit from this infinite power infinite intelligence or this universal mind or not our subconscious mind somehow connects with it this is the reason why we are able to live on up to some time but the truth is the true benefit of tapping or connecting with this universal or infinite intelligence is that our true purpose in life can only be identified and made use of when we connect with this infinite intelligence apart from that this infinite intelligence is responsible for our success in life i read from the alchemist by paulo coelho that when any human being sets up his mind to achieve something the entire universe conspires with him in achieving it the truth is whatever we set our minds upon and decide that we want to achieve in life this infinite intelligence this universal mind conspires with us in achieving that have you actually sat down and planned to do something great with your life i would advise you to start seeking and connecting with this infinite intelligence this universal mind that i call god and i know for a fact that if you connect well with this infinite intelligence that if you believe in its power that if you believe in his power and the power of his holy spirit he will assist you he will carry you on eagle's wings and he will take you through life successfully above all whatever you set up your mind to achieve in life with true connection with this infinite intelligence that i call god you will be successful think about it from today onwards that life in you came from a universal source and this source is so powerful that if you decide to use your will to connect with this infinite intelligence it shall be well with you you shall be successful in life and life as we live it today you will come to discover that it is not about eating drinking and sleeping we have a purpose to achieve in life god created all of us for a purpose it is up to us to connect with this infinite intelligence that i call god he will help us to detect our purpose in life and through his power we will be able to achieve our purpose in life before we die thank you for watching this has been motivated minds you can always connect with us on our YouTube channel, Motiminds TV. You can also connect with us on Facebook by searching for Motiminds. Subscribe to our channel. We will send you meaningful and good motivational messages that will help you to live a purposeful life. God bless you. Bye-bye.